Hello everybody, and welcome back to Loop Hero. We uh, are returning with stuff that we need. We, we we don't have any stuff. That's it. It was we're returning with with no stuff. So what we need to do? Go back on an expedition. That's what we need to do. Uh, what do we got here? Trait deck. We pick some traits that we want to get as options. I think we've already got everything loaded in that we can have. But we could potentially get some other stuff later, maybe. Right now, that's it. All right. So we just learned how to have traits. We just need to level up enough to get them. So we're just going to hurry on through and see what happens. Killing some slimes here. Excellent. And uh, we'll put down a meadow right here. And a spider cocoon right there. It's a decent spot for one, right? We do everything at four times speed around these parts. Armor, certainly. We don't need to lock that. Uh, put that on. Vampire Mansion. We'll put you right over here. Yeah. Okay. We got some mountains. Uh, I'll put you there so that we can make those two things come together into some sort of amazingness. Uh, we could oblivion something, but we don't need to do that right now. If we're about to die or something, we'll do that. Come on, Vampire Man. Can't best me, I'm the best. I'm the best around. Nothing's ever gonna bring me down. Shield. Sweet. Defense and defense. So that's six defense. That's actually quite good. Drop down to do taking one damage a hit now. Not as good armor. Kill this slime. This early in the run when you're going around the spin. It's not really that big of a deal. Like most things are not, not so scary yet. Uh, put those down. We've got some additional damage to all, and we're of course only taking like one hit at a time, which is nice. If we can get a big old group of slimes, we'll probably get something out of those. Put down a beacon. Uh, what do beacons do again? Movement speed increase and attack speed for all units inside of its range. Okay, so that just makes everybody faster. We're gonna put you right there then. Got ourselves a new sword. Four to six damage? Yeah, we'll take that. And that was it. We got ourselves some mountains. Uh, same thing. Axe or sword? I like swords better, for the most part. I mean, aesthetically. Axes are cool too, don't get me wrong. But I'm more of a more of a sword man. I wonder if these stack. I don't know if these effects stack. More rocks. Went around the loop once. Move super fast through that area. We're back to swinging away. After a variety of the games that I play, this one is incredibly relaxing by comparison. You just kind of sit back and let things happen. I mean, it can be a bit stressful. Not really, though. After a long day's work, as I'm yawning in your ear, um, something like some so, some loop hero is nice. Bunch of AOE damage isn't going to do crap for us. we got to get rid of the vampire first so they stop having lifesteal. And now we can kill them. We don't really have a lot of damage to all. Damage to all would be great if we could stack a whole bunch of it. Like, right when... Um... I'll get rid of that. We don't want to deal with you. Anyways, if we could get a whole bunch of damage to all like on all of our gear here and then fight big crowds of enemies that could be really nice meadow meadow get some more supplies for upgrading our camp when we come out of this this is not starting off as the best run so far though we've not gotten uh, any Anything other than like these two items that are that are more than just common. Uh, regen per second. We'll, we'll take that for now. I feel like we might need it. Increase all creatures attack speed by 20%. All creatures attack speed. That includes us, right? Yeah. So we attack faster too. Just making sure. What if we get some sort of like ridiculously fast uh, attack speed build going? <laughs> Could be cool. 
We're gonna put down a battlefield right there. We have another treasury. We'll put down a cemetery here. We'll put down a mountain over here. Now we have uh, a bunch of stuff happen all at once. Put that there. We'll put you right here. Excellent. We'll continue. We're looking for treasures. We're looking for better gear. Quit jabbing me with your spidey pokey bits. Come on now. That's not appropriate. Mr. Vampire. How do we know you have a soul? How, do you, how does one tell that you have a soul? Hey, give me that. Uh, damage up quite a bit. Attack speed up, good. Evasion up 11%. I like that a lot. We'll put down a spider cocoon by this other spider cocoon. We'll put down rocks. Uh, we'll put them over here so we can get some bonuses from the rocks. We'll put down another vampire mansion. There. And we'll continue. We don't have nearly as much survivability as we had before. The evasion's gonna help. Um, the armor is gonna help. None of it's, like, perfect. Now we're fighting a couple of stronger enemies. Let's see if we get murdered. So far, we have been holding our own over time. We just got ourselves a new trait. Uh, damage is increased by 20% of defense value. 10% chance to keep the card after placing its tile. Doesn't work for the golden cards. And every counter heals the hero for 1.5 times the loop that we're currently on in the hitch points. Hitchy hitch points. So we got a counter build that would be good, but we don't currently have that running for us. Um... I think we're going to take Dominant Mass and try to stack up our armor. Because so right now our, our armor is at 7. So we are increasing our damage, which is nice. 13% evasion. Taking it. Now we've got 24% evasion. Maybe we can get missed a couple times by these enemies and not die so fast. Some modicum of vampirism is helpful for sure. Uh, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Excellent. So many enemies. So very many enemies. Uh, damage to all would be up, but we'd lose our vampirism and defense. We'd have more hit points. This is better. Just hands down better. So we'll use that. I still feel like we kind of need our life steal. 8% is not enough. We're getting like 1 or 2 health back. Um... We put this on now. We didn't gain much health back. Dang it. I was hoping we get more than that. We might be in trouble. We might be about to die. We might have to try to run away. Uh, Road Lantern. Right there. Meadow. And right there. And grove. Right there. Mountain. Right there. Mountain. Right there. Okay. We have no health. <laughs> Good luck to us. I ain't no coward. 11 defense. Yes, more defense. Put down a meadow. Uh, nope. Treasure. Gotta love treasure. That does way more damage, but our evasion goes down. Counter goes up. Um... Yeah, let's just ruin our run. Go for it. Kill him, slime. That's not slime. That's a that's a that's a damn vampire. Oh, we got some things here. Damage to all vampirism and defense up. We lose evasion. Uh, so now we don't evade anything. We have pure damage and we have defense. We got eleven percent vampirism. Our defense is pretty high. Doesn't mean shite. That's actually worse. Uh, I'm, I'm feeling like this run is going sideways on us, everybody. Oblivion. Uh, we're going to Oblivion. Let's see. That space. We're going to put down some mountains. Right there. Rock. Right there. Cemetery. Right, right behind us. Meadow, right there, so we can unlock it. Ooh, we got uh, 
damage to all and defense or counter and evasion i don't currently have any evasion i think that's gonna work better for us we have regen per second that would be handy defense 12 damage to all is five uh counter and vampirism i think we're gonna take damage to all five and bring our defense down one we're gonna put this on even though we lose some health so that we can regenerate a little tiny bit and that's gonna be it uh battlefield we'll put a battlefield here and we'll put a rock here okay damage to all allows us to hit a few enemies and take them out all at once we are so low on health ah uh, this is this is scary um Keep regenerating. Regen per sec can be there. We need, we need the vampirism. I don't, know, I don't know what to do. This is all bad. Everything about this is all bad. We can increase our defense even further. We're not gaining any health back anymore. But our defense is 25, so we'll see how far we can get. A couple of good hits. Maybe we'll maybe we'll make it through. Not so great, not so great. Put down a blood grove, right? there um put down a meadow right there we're about to have another day pass which gives us a little healing uh max hp 241 and evasion nope put down another grove sure uh garbage garbage we're gonna go like that and go on it retreat we were uh, not doing hot. I don't think we would have made another loop. So that's where we're going to stop there and keep going here. We can build some other stuff now, right? Build an herbalist hut. We'll put you right there. Excellent. It's a miracle we could find some fertile soil. And by a miracle, uh, saved some seeds of precious healing herbs. The real miracle is that all these healing poultices and bombs still have some effect. Mm. We already lost many people because of the cataclysm. It would be nice not to lose any more to diseases. And these potions can help you as well. Take a vial or two on your trip and your chances of getting back in one piece will be much higher. So now we can heal. Can we upgrade you? No. We could raise a building to the ground if we wanted to. I have a feeling that uh, there's a limited amount of space here. Can't buy any of you. Can't upgrade you can't upgrade you i guess that's it expedition uh still playing our warrior because i don't have any other choices it's fine let's go let's see if this loop turns out a little better than the last time we started the loop because that sucked uh heals you for four percent when your life is in danger the fewer you have the more you cherish them Down a mountain and a spider cocoon here in a second. Excellent. Uh, we got some armor for more health. We got a sword for more damage. And we got a self shield with some defense. Good deal. Not a terrible start. Not the most brilliant start in the world, but not a terrible one. So that's good. Grove, meadow, here. Same shield. Ooh, we got ourselves a pole arm with some defense and some attack all at once. Good news. We're going to put this here. To give us a little bit of a, a waypoint. We'll move you faster through this area here. Put down another road lantern like here. Keep the enemies down. We'll still spawn them. But we'll make it so there's not quite so many. One enemy dead. We got ourselves a cemetery. So blood grove would be great here just to kill anything that grows there. Put down a meadow.
What'd you drop? Shield with uh, five defense. Okay. Mm, nope. Put a road lantern right there. Got ourselves a damage to all ring. That's okay. And attack speed ring. I think I'd like that better. Spawns chased on the Dacian tiles each loop. We're gonna go here. We'll put it here. Uh, meadow. Meadow. Mountain. Go. Doing all right right now. Regen for a sec that we don't need. Get him. Put that down here. Grove. We'll put a grove uh, there. And a cemetery there. Got a shield with some regen. I like that. That's it. Vampire Mansion. Nope. Uh, we'll put down another beacon right here. We'll put down a Vampire Mansion here. Get us some treasure! Ooh. Defense, some. Attack speed, same. Regen and vampirism. That's just a overall really good ring and we got armor hp counters and regen and vampirism um it's technically got less health but all all the stats that are on it are just much better got another grove this place will just be grove central Getting some XP's, getting closer. Excellent. Uh, it points in evasion. That's a lot of extra HP. We do lose out on a small amount of regen, but it's just significantly more health. Stupid skelly bones. Damage to all in evasion. Mmm. <laughs> No, I think we're going to keep as what we have right now. Keep what we have already. Yes. Put down a mountain, put down a rock, put down a battlefield, put another one here. Uh, another beacon there. A meadow up here. There we go. Hmm. It's a level one ring. We want to get stuff that's higher than level one for sure. We're looking at like three fours. Come on. At this point. I mean, hoping for more than that is still something that we would want. Got another blood grove. We'll put you right here. Yeah. I wonder if that doubles the chance to spawn an amalgam. Or whatever they are. Skeleton. Such a deadly skeleton. They hit hard. I mean, I'm taking 21 damage a pop. Uh, much better damage and some defense. Just a straight upgrade. Good deal. Two crap shields. So we shall go ahead and get ourselves a giant mountain now. Because we can. And we'll build some more of these moving out this direction. We get some more fields. Not a good shield. It's got better defense. Like, significantly better. Get it. Open it. Smack it open. Hit it with all you got. Another ring. This one. Damage to all and pure damage. The blade. Vampirism at 10%. 
I think I think we're gonna take it. A little bit of health back at a time seems like it's helpful. <laughs> Got you. Excellent. Cemetery. Mountain. And then rock. Ro rock. I want a rock. I want to rock. Hmm. Our health isn't going down that bad yet, so that's good. Kill the skelly bones and open the treasure chest. What have you done? Counter chance goes way up, but we lose our vampirism. Don't think I want to do that. You'll get a new choice of three traits. Doesn't cost a trade point. Trait uh, regeneration is doubled if you're below 30%. I kind of like that. We don't have regen per second right now, but we could have a pretty cool... Yeah, we'll take survivalist. Maybe if we can get lucky and find ourselves into... Uh, find our way into a uh, uh, health regen thing. That would be good. Goblins! Cannot take me, goblins! I mean, maybe you can take me, goblins. You are very fast, after all. Uh, pure damage, attack speed, and counter. Yeah. Oh, we lost some defense, though. Damage and attack speed. Whatever. Our attack speed's 20% now. You know, we can't we can't make it into other builds. We're gonna go with an attack speed build. Kill all the spiders with the fastest attack speed imaginable. Put down a mountain here, and a mountain here, and some spiders here. Am I making bad choices in this life? Probably. Got you. Uh, defense twelve. Pure damage and damage to all. Sure. Got ourselves a harpy. We got ourselves a dead harpy. Found a treasury, finally. We'll put this right here so that we can start putting things around it. And we'll continue. Are we worried? No, there's a blood clot. 81 health. Whew. Liquid has a soul. I wonder why it keeps telling us it has souls. Is there something to do with souls in this game? Probably, I'm assuming. Defense can counter. Put down rock here. Vampire mansion. Why not? We'll put another one down here. <laughs> so many vampire mansions. I'm killing these guys in like one hit though. So that's nice. Road lantern. I'll put you here. Vampire mansion here. Spider cocoon here. <laughs> We're just making our own life a living hell at this point. Mm, way more damage for the attack speeds down. We don't get high ranked equipment. We don't care right now. Battlefield, we'll put it right here. Vampires, cemetery, spider cocoon, oblivion. I don't know about the oblivion right now. All right, continue. Hmm. There's regen per sec. That's what we're looking for. We want a regen build so that we get low on health, we start regenerating like crazy. Remember? That was the that was the entire plan. <laughs> uh counter evasion, attack speed. 
We lose some vampirism. We don't really have much vampirism anyways. Whatever. Uh, put a meadow over here. Put a rock over here. And continue. Hi, hero. Defense and evasion. All right. Sure. Our evasion is currently 22%. Now it's time to start building smarter when it comes to certain aspects, certain things. Um, we're going to want to make sure that when we put on items that we only put on things we absolutely know we want to use. Because it's going to get really bad. Very, very hairy here very, very soon. Um, counter damage to all. We lose evasion. Defense, pure damage, and evasion. We already have really good evasion on that one. We don't want to use it. All right, that's it. None of these are good. Crappy hammer. Let's see. Defense and vampirism. Max HP with HP regen per second. That's what we're going to do. Our regen per second is three. So we get back three health a second. Is that increased when we have the speed up? I would assume it would be increased when we have the speed up. We got another trait. Um, after receiving this trait at the start of every loop, the hero receives 60% of his 65% of his max HP as Phantom Shield to persist between battles. Damage to the shield ignores defense. Damage is increased by 20% of defense value. Our defense value is currently 14, so that would only be like two extra damage. Here it is one plus 1. 1.5 damage for every potion is used since this trait is taken so we keep using potions then that'll make this a lot stronger i think we're going to take the article of protection now so we got this extra shield on top of us um evasion 11 percent. we don't really care about the counter much our attack speeds up and that'll give us more regen per sec which is what we're looking for Our shield will help us take some time to regen more stuff. So that's part of the part of the positivity. Positiveness. Positivity. Having the shield lets us gain health back over time. Having the evasion keeps us from getting hit with every single attack. Allowing us to keep our shield even longer. Damage to all defense and attack speed. Nope. Not good enough. dead uh attack speed and damage nope if we don't have regen or something related to our build on this stuff now we won't take it damage and defense looks like pure damage is 11 that's not something we need there's a lot of you here and we got ourselves a stronger slime. Artificial life. <laughs> Maybe it's not a stronger slime. Maybe I'm just seeing things. you down in a variety of places but we're gonna put you there put down more rocks over here yeah we'll just put up next to these things and we're going to oblivion something here that and we're gonna oblivion that make sure it doesn't just murder us right away we got the clot and a vampire and a chest That's not looking good. Those ghosts sit pretty hard. Our damage is starting to suffer. Maybe I would have been better suited had I gone with the... Uh... Yeah, maybe. Had I gone with the damage converted from, from armor. From defense. 
think. Maybe. Maybe not. Spider cocoons. Go, go, go over there. And a beacon. We'll put another one down here. And another blood grove. Put it there. Yeah, we'll just fill the map with garbage. We can go around this enough times so we end up fighting the boss, so. I'm not sure this is going to be the run for it, but it seems to have pretty good chances if we can keep decent momentum. Like, if we don't take a bunch of solid hits with 25% evasion, we can remove a few of these. Our health regen helps, but there's so many enemies in such a small space here. Going through that gauntleted area is, is the hard part. Uh, we got a treasury. Got ourselves a gargoyle over here. It has died. We need some rank six, seven more epic items. We can't drink these ourselves. It'll it'll do it on its own. Uh, we're gonna put a treasury down right here. We got a mimic. Wrap. Ouch. That mimic hurts a lot. Uh, damage to all attack speed and vampirism. We lose a small amount of regen and evasion if we do this. I don't think it's worth it. Well, we got the mimic. Better defense, less evasion, not worth it. Mimics are tough. Damage, damage, all attack speed, nope. We are using quite a few of our potions at this point. Mountain over here. More spiders. We have so many enemies on this loop now. <laughs> Attack speed counter? Nope. Nope. Uh, defense up. Damage to all. Attack speed and evasion. Almost good. Not quite. Do we have deceptively strong uh, stats when we get up to more difficult locations in this. Oh, there it is. There's the there's the big old bossy boss fight. We're heading there. We're almost there. We're low on health, so I don't know how this is gonna go. But we're gonna try. We're gonna try to the best of our ability. Oh, damn, that's not good. It's enraged. Uh, regen per sec 2.4. We lose 11% evasion, but we would regenerate much faster. When we're low on health, that'll allow us to regen even faster. Like now, our regeneration is currently doubled. So we're getting 10 health back a second. I don't know if that's worth it. Okay, against a slower fight like this, maybe it would be fine. Let's see. Um. Okay, there's not a whole lot in the way. We'll just go. We got a skeleton out here. Our evasion is only 14% now. I think I might have made a mistake doing that. Those quick attackers. Ugh. Difficult to deal with. Um, this gives us a lot of defense and vampirism. That might be the ticket. But I have cut down all my evasion, so, you know. Uh, continue, I guess? Let's try it. Here's the boss. How is it possible? That's right. You didn't devour me like the rest of the world. Haven't I? You really don't think so? What are you talking about? I'm standing right in front of you. I consumed all of your reality. It is every element now rests in a separate pocket dimension. Spaces, living beings, information, even memories. They shall remain there until entropy does its work, turning everything into a uniform static mass. Along with you, of course. You're insane! So what do we have here? I see you found a way to interact with other pieces of your reality, organizing, combining, and merging them. But how? 
I don't see any exceptional talents or knowledge in you. You hardly even understand what's happening, right? I'll tell you what's happening. A pile of bones is butchering my world and thinks it, that it can get away with it. You're already doomed and you know it. Perhaps you're just the first in a series of systematic errors. A problem I must learn to solve. Let's not waste any time, then. I don't think you're capable of feeling regret, but I'm about to change that. Well, we have some shielding. Uh, ouch. We are healing relatively quickly, but I don't think we got this fight at all. This is not in the bag in the least. Ah, uh, yep, solid hits. We got you down to almost half health, and you are going to murder us. We are going to die. We're going to die. No. Ah. Uh. Death does not favor the fallen, but it made a little exception for you. You keep 30% of all resources found. We lost so much. Oof. Uh, I'm alive, but how? Thanks to us. A small group of us dragged you back here. It wasn't easy. How did you fight off all those monsters? They nearly killed me. That's also interesting. Many of them were vanishing right before our eyes. Some we managed to avoid, but I think most of the monsters were gone before we left the camp. I think your trips are deeply connected to your memory, my friend. It all fades away as soon as you space out for long enough. All right, so, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today. Thank you very much for watching Loop here. Hope you've enjoyed yourselves. As always, continue being your gorgeous, wonderful, amazing, smart, intelligent, beautiful selves. And, uh, bye-bye.